sitting here with my Hogwarts book. Hi guys, my Hufflepuff coffee mug. It's actually all black, but when you put any hot beverage in it, then all these come about. I'm checking in, trying to see how you guys are doing, how we're all doing. I just wanted to say hi, um, because I know that we're all having a interesting time over the last um, month. What's the day today? Um, we've all been in lockdown for the longest time. Um, and I just wanted to check in. I wanted to say hi, tell you how I am. Maybe talk about you, or you talk about you in the comments. Which, whichever way you want to do it. Rigorous, rigorous, rigorous. Hey. Gang gang looking rigorous, look my champagne but I'm rigorous, my campaign looking rigorous, look whole team hella rigorous, lifestyle so rigorous, what? hairstyle so rigorous, hey. the top five ain't rigorous, if you left out this rigorous. So I've been thinking of um, video ideas, like not, not an idea really, but I just wanted to talk about the lockdown because um, it's been very difficult, it's been weighing on me. Um, I've been one of the people who've been struggling with the lockdown, as I'm sure many of you guys also have been. It's a difficult time, it's a very, it's a very weird change for a lot of people, um, but at the same time I've been trying to enjoy it because I mean, I, I hope that we won't be having another one of these for a very, very, very long time. Full of ideas over here, full of ideas. Yes, I have facial hair. Um, I'm as surprised as you are. And so yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and how your mood is, how you're feeling throughout the lockdown, how you felt throughout the lockdown, um, with the understanding that also the lockdown is slowly coming to an end. I live in a, in a hotspot. Um, I live in Randburg in Johannesburg and it's one of the hotspots um, of the coronavirus. So. Um, I don't think that we'll be leveling down anytime soon and with that being said I don't think that I'm going to be leaving the house um, either way even if we go to level one I'm not gonna leave the house for a while one I don't have medical aid I can't afford to have this virus two I've got a weak immune system you guys know this if you watch more Banza, I'm sick half of the time while we're filming so I'm not playing those kind of games um, so yeah, let me know if you're gonna be going outside that should be interesting I wrote a couple of things down that um, I was kind of thinking like something that some things that we can all think about Hilang. south africa has the most annoying birds in the world i promise you we are unmatched when it comes to birds and insects and animals making noises it is the worst so there were a couple of things i was thinking about um that i've sort of dealt with throughout the lockdown that i wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things that i've learned throughout the lockdown and a couple of things that i've learned from just working from home because i know a lot of you guys are working from home for the first time in your lives um, and so it's a very weird transition and as glamorous as it might look to some people it's it's not very very easy especially when the first time you're going to work from home is during a pandemic like that's nerve-wracking that's that's anxiety provoking something that i've noticed that a lot of people um have been talking about and have been saying is is productivity a lot of people are talking about productivity and you know not being productive um and i i personally believe that uh, during this lockdown um you don't have to learn a new skill you don't have to be the most productive version of yourself that you've ever been um your life is difficult enough especially right now that you shouldn't be giving yourself extra work that's going to make you feel terrible in the long run productivity is is a scary thing um especially in a time like this because i've noticed on twitter a lot of people are saying learn a new skill do this do that and as much as i do see the merit in um, taking time to learn something else and also just the 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 distraction just the distraction of um, learning a new skill or focusing on something I do see the merit in that I 100% do but I also think that the people who aren't as productive shouldn't be taking this in um, and thinking that you know what I didn't actually do anything of substance during this entire lockdown um, Productivity sometimes is not your friend, especially in an anxiety provoking situation um, like now. The first thing I actually wrote here um, is don't worry about not being productive. I 100% I believe in that. I haven't been my most productive self in this lockdown, even though I've had all the time in the world. Um, and I'm not gonna beat myself up about that because then I'm gonna fall into a hole that I do not want to fall into. So don't don't feel bad if you're not productive. If you didn't learn a new skill, if you didn't pick up an instrument, if you didn't learn a new language, like that's completely okay. If you're taking care of yourself, your mental health um, and your physical health, and when I say physical health, I don't mean exercising every day. I mean, just making sure that like you're eating as well as you possibly can. I think that's enough. Um, take care of yourself in the way that you feel is easiest and best for you. Uh, you do not need to be your most productive self during this lockdown. And I think productivity means different things for different people because um, I think 
you can be productive in taking care of yourself and not necessarily you know learning something new or picking up a new hobby or learning a new skill whatever it is um i think you can be productive by just keeping in touch with your loved ones um it's a very difficult time a lot of people feel very alienated people feel very very lonely and i think keeping in touch with the people that you love with the people that you like spending time with normally um yeah i think that's productivity i think you can be productive in keeping in touch with people and i think that's a big part of um keeping sane during this lockdown is keeping in touch and i don't mean you don't need to facetime people you don't need to skype people all the time even just texting just keeping in touch um and and this is in no way of me saying like check in on your friends or anything like that but just checking in on yourself um, and and what you might need at that moment and sometimes all you need is a friend um, just to make the world feel a little bit smaller because right now I think with us all being so like away from each other and not being able to travel to each other it makes the world feel a lot bigger than it actually is and so um, I think keeping in touch is a big part of keeping yourself in check yourself okay during this lockdown um, it's very difficult to live without other people um, especially for people who usually have a lot of people around them every single day. Um, this cannot be easy, but um, I think keeping in touch can be your way of being productive um, during the lockdown. I think another thing that's really, really important is um, not focusing on the date. The date is a very, very scary concept. Time, sorry, time, the date, same thing. It's a very scary concept. Um, and I'm very proud of all of us for lasting the past, like, what, 30 days, 32 days um, in lockdown. Um, because it's very scary to keep looking at the time. You're looking at the time, you're looking at the date. Uh, you're quite freaked out about how much longer do we have to do this? Is it two weeks? Is it four weeks? Um, is it two months? Is it the rest of the year? Try not to focus on the date. Try not to focus um, more than you need to. Obviously, you need to know what, you know, what day of the week it is. But try not to focus so much on, oh my goodness, when is this going to end? Um, because I think that's also very, very anxiety provoking. Uh, time is a scary concept for a lot of people in a lot of situations, but I think now of all times, it can even be scarier than everything else because there is so much uncertainty in the world from every angle um, that focusing on time, focusing on the date can be very, very scary. So try your best not to focus on the date. It's something that's helped me quite a lot. On the flip side of it, I keep forgetting what day of the week it is. There's so many times where I've thought it's like a Thursday and I've woken up like getting ready to like get like emails and have my anxiety provoked and then it's a Saturday morning. So um, on the flip side of that, just, you know, check your phone <laughs> every day, every morning to just, you know, check what day of the week it is. But don't focus on the date so much because um, that can be really, really scary. Also try to switch things up. Um, as somebody who's been working from home for the past 2017, 18, 19, 24 years, see, I can count. Trying to switch things up is the best thing that you can do for yourself. Luckily with the job that I have, Almost every single day is different, um, but for a lot of people, uh, working from home just means doing everything you do at work, but at home. Having a structure that is too tight can also um, be anxiety provoking. So try and switch it up um, every other week or every other day. Um, do things in a weird order that doesn't necessarily make sense to you. It'll jog you, it'll keep you, keep you, um, excited it will take you out of limbo a lot of us right now are in limbo it kind of feels like the edge of tomorrow it feels like uh, groundhog day um happy death day i think that's what that movie is called where you're doing the same thing every single day like sometimes i'll wake up in the morning and i'll be like did i not just wake up like i feel like i just did this because um the days are moving so much quicker i think for me at least like days are moving so quickly like i wake up all of a sudden it's dinner all of a sudden i'm brushing my teeth to go to bed and i'm like i swear i just did this and then you wake up in the morning and routine man routine can put you in a slump as much as it can also take you out of it so i think um if you're one of those people who's stuck in limbo who's stuck in a routine try and switch things up do things differently um on other days just to to keep your brain on its toes um because routine can put you in a slump and it can it can scare you because it, it did scare me i won't even lie to you like i really felt like i was in limbo waking up in the morning doing the exact same thing the exact same way every single day um it's a bit scary, so try switch things up when you can. And honestly, I think also the best thing that you can do for yourself right now is just try your best every day. And if that's not enough, just try again tomorrow. Like 
if it's not enough today if you weren't as productive as you thought you were going to be fine you know what it's 7 p.m or 10 p.m just rest have dinner take a, a shower take a bath and just try again tomorrow like um i think that's one of the best advice that my mom ever gave me growing up um my, my mom or my sister one of the the woman in my life try your best every day and if it's not enough that day just try again tomorrow like it's literally advice that i've kept um probably some of the best advice i've ever received because it works in every facet of your life even in your relationships your friendships your romantic relationships um some days you're not going to be the best partner that you could have possibly been that day but fine go to sleep wake up the next day and try again you might not have done as much schoolwork as you thought you were going to do today and you feel like crap because you know what other people at school are working so much harder than you. it's fine if you did your best that day and your best wasn't enough go to sleep wake up tomorrow and just try again that little piece of advice has has helped me through a lot of moments in my life where i honestly felt felt like a complete and utter failure so yeah i think i think if there's one thing i want you to take out from this video is try your best every single day and man if it's not enough just try again tomorrow because life is already difficult enough without you putting yourself down um especially during a time like this when um we're all very anxious we're all very scared people are falling into depressive episodes people who were never depressed before are depressed now um it's not an easy time this is not a holiday for people and so if you feel like you're struggling more than you should be it's completely okay um that's what happens in times like this i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for spending this time with me i thought i'd have my morning tea with you guys um and you know what i've thoroughly enjoyed it um i hope i will have this energy to creak to creak i hope i'll have this energy to keep creating um, more videos i've really enjoyed just you know sitting down and chatting with you guys um my camera is very far away right now and um i'm a little bit worried that it wasn't filming this entire thing thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate you giving me um your time um also thank you for watching my ads you're the best. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. How have you been dealing with the lockdown? Are you working from home? Are you are you one of the people who's still at work? I'd be very interested to know if I have viewers who are essential workers. Let me know how you've been dealing with the lockdown. Um, are you one of those people who's been having a terrible lockdown? Have you been having a great lockdown? That'll also be good news. Um, let's let's not all be um, um, pessimistic. One last thing before I end off this video um please vote for me for male influencer of the year um at the cosmo for the cosmo influencer awards i'll put the link in the description below um i think all you have to do is write your name um your surname and your email address and then um choose me for best male influencer you can only vote once um or you can vote more than once but they'll only take like your first vote so um if you feel like i i deserve male influencer of the year please um go there and vote um also mom buns on my other channel for travel and lifestyle um and then uh Busha Lupindo, my beautiful girlfriend for newcomer of the year if you have a moment um i'd really really appreciate that but other than that thank you guys I will see you in the next video. Rigorous, rigorous, rigorous. Hey. Gang gang looking rigorous My champagne but I'm rigorous My campaign looking rigorous Whole team hella rigorous Lifestyle so rigorous Hairstyle so rigorous Your top five ain't rigorous If you left out this rigorous